In this video, we bring you three basic patterns, one intermediate level concept to give you some cool stuff for your West Coast swing. What's up, gang? It's Brian B. and the Vanna White of West Coast Swing. Miss Megan. <laughs> How's it going, gang? So in this video, we're going to bring you three basic patterns, one kind of intermediate level concept, and it's going to create uh, a bunch of cool options. Megan says she likes to teach this um, to her newer West Coast Swing dancers. So if you have someone that's a little bit newer, great. If you've been at it for a while, um, you might learn something too. So we're basically going to use a sugar push with a rock and go and do an inside turn. Then we're gonna do the same thing, sugar push, with a rock and go, with a little tuck for the end. So let's discuss, uh, first of all, the concept, I, I suppose you guys know a sugar push, inside turn, and uh, tuck turn, those are basic stuff. If not, we got a basic video, just Google uh, beginner West Coast Swing. If not, we're gonna link up. The second thing we need to know is what is a rock and go? We did a complete video on that. We're gonna cover that here for sure, but if you wanna dig into this concept of the rock and go, um, we did a complete guide to rock and goes. It's a killer video, I don't know, like 12 minutes long. Covers everything you need to know about this really sweet concept that will help level up your patterns. But um, here's what we're gonna do. We do our sugar push, one, two, three, and four. Typically, we're done on four, we're connected away, and we anchor step away at that point, right? But we're gonna use a concept called a rock and go, which is gonna rock the follower out of the, out of the pattern, and we're gonna go right into the next pattern, hence rock and go. So the rock and go looks like this. One, two, three, and four, rock and go. So what's happened here is Megan's no longer anchored back on her left foot. I've pulled her into the second beat of the next pattern. So this is count six, but watch this. If we did an inside turn, one, two, it's the same position. So we're jumping to count two of the next pattern and bypassing the anchor step. So how do we do it? Um, number one, we need to know that it exists. A rock and go exists. Number two, how do we do it? And this is kind of a beginner-ish version. This is actually a pretty high success rate for newer dancers. So we're gonna dance one, two, three, and four. From here, with a little bit of steering to the hands, right, I'm gonna literally rock and go to pull my partner out, right? So let's do that again. We have rock and go. Now, depending upon what pattern we need to do next, depends on where I need to step as the leader. So the first one we did is the turn, right? Sugar push into the turn. One, two, three, and four. That's our sugar push, and then we do a turn. But we're gonna use the rock and go to combine both of those. We have one, two, three, and four, rock and go. Now the only thing I had to do different was on the go part, I still lead Megan out onto her left foot. I have to take myself out of the slot, right? Then my left hand leads the turn, just like beginner class, inside turn, anchor step. Do you have anything to add to that, Miss Megan? Yeah, the reason I like this for uh, beginner dancers moving into intermediate style stuff is because you're using two hands, and on count four, uh, you're connected with both hands. Um, as a follower, I, I'm trying to connect away from my partner, so if he's making that go further towards me, I'm gonna go back further. So it's a very easy way to learn how to go further into the connection and go where your partner is trying to tell you to go. I like that, and from a, let's say this, in a connection standpoint, um, the more the hands move typically, the more you physically see them move, the less good the connection is. Yes. So that's not to say that I don't move my hands quite a bit when I'm social dancing, because uh, sometimes the followers, it's a clue, they're not as well connected, so I have to give them a little extra movement. Mm -hmm. So if we did this kind of an R style, right, then there's very little that needs to be done, right? Very little, shouldn't see too much in the hands, it's just a little subtlety, right? But I might dance this with a beginner and I might feel like I'm steering it a little bit. So our goal is not a ton of hand movement, because if we're connected really well, right, my footwork alone should create that mm -hmm. without too much in the hands. That being said, leaders play with just a little bit of hand movement, as little as necessary. How much? 
If you let it, awesome. If it didn't work, try something different. If it's off time, probably too much room. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's a good point too, right? Because if Megan is a pretty good follower and she tries to fill out the space of the connection and we do this here, right? One, two, three, and four, five, and six. I've given her <laughs> too much room, right? So less Tighter is, more. is better. So one more time with the inside turn. One, two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, and eight, nine, and 10. Now, if we do the sugar tuck, Megan said she liked this for some of her students who don't spin as well. So again, if we're newer at West Coast Swing, we want cool stuff um, that is within our wheelhouse out of the, based off the beginner patterns and that don't challenge our skill level too much, but are still cool. So the sugar tuck version, one, two, three, and four, five and six, seven and eight, nine and 10. What do we have to worry about here? Um, the rock and go is the first part. One, two, three and four, rock and go. Now from here, leaders, I have to be quick with this hand to tuck, cool? Step my follower away and anchor step. If we looked at it from the other side. And then of course you'll be able to chime in. One, two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight, nine and ten any thoughts uh just that when you're getting into this level of stuff you need to really focus on your connection to your partner and that's really what i'm doing in this move so one two three and four i'm paying attention to what connections i'm trying to do with my partner and a good basic drill right something like this we stand, we're connected away, and we connect forward, right? And the more, the less movement we can get and still feel the connection, right, the better. If, like Megan said before, if there's a lot of lag, Ooh. there's a lot of space in there, and it's difficult to read the connections. So again, we need to kind of cultivate that ability of quickly changing the connection, right? If there was a long time before we felt that connection, <laughs> there's too much space. That's when you get off time to the music, um, leaders and followers don't link up in the way that they're connecting, usually too much space in the connection. So if we keep this relatively tight, one, two, three, and four, then there's plenty of time, right? I asked Megan from an away connection to a forward connection and notice that I asked her, like she's being led through there, right? I'm leading that, but you're not seeing it. If I start to do this, Ooh. Right, That's too much space. space in there for the follower. <laughs> so follower is gonna fill out those connections. Um, so recap, you have your sugar push. Again, make sure you just focus on things like staying anchored, right? And keeping the connections nice and tight. Notice my arms aren't moving a whole lot. Then you can practice the rock and go. I guess theoretically you could do this a rock and go into a sugar push again, a rock and go into anything you want. Cool, uh, if you wanna explore more of the rock and go ideas and some of the options off of that, we have a video, The Ultimate Guide to the Rock and Goes. We'll link it up again or the description below. Um, and if you're not a member of our site yet, head on over there, enter your email address. Um, I just had someone say, your membership isn't really free. No, we do have a paid membership for sure. There's 60 some odd free videos that you can see how the, the player works. It's a really cool experience. There's a favorite section so you can pull your favorite videos aside. Um, so go over there, grab the free membership. Um, and then if you wanna try a full access membership, you can, it's free for the first seven days. And uh, we have a lot of members that uh, love the player over there, love the ability to separate their favorite things. You can search by level, you can search by pattern, you can search by dance, and not just typing it in, there's an actual drop down. So you could say, I want intermediate West Coast swing patterns that include the word whip in them. And it's gonna give you just what you're looking for. Cool, so uh, give us some feedback, leave a comment below, let us know what you'd wanna see from us. Any closing thoughts, Miss Megan? Get connected. Get connected. There you go. See you guys soon.